That biggest misconception. Biggest misconception. What would you say is the biggest misconception? I don't know, I mean, most people that I meet that don't know anything about it think it's absolutely brutal. You know, it is purely torture Evil. and, you know, and I suppose in its in the beginnings, that's exactly what well, it was, yeah. you know? It was but a torture you... technique, but they don't see the, the softness around it. And of course, it's not always soft, but I think there is a great deal of love and care that goes into a shibari We, we don't want to hurt each other. Yeah, exactly. We never want to hurt you know? each other. And and again, that profound. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I do think that is a huge misconception that it is just this kind of brutal, painful act. When actually, in fact, it's this dance of emotion and a dance of pain. You know, something that feels really tough. You know, during a session, you might alleviate that by bringing something else into the mix, and it's that kind of yo-yo of God, that's really hard, and then you let down. It's like oh that feels really fucking good and something else goes up and you know it's this this and then dance. you have the release of the endorphins and of yeah. all the hormones yeah. that actually play with you yeah give, giving you in this soup of hormones in there absolutely i mean one of my favorite things is the come down of you know suspension or even just floor work you know the untying that release of that oh my god feels so good and you feel your blood rushing and it's it's, it's really lovely. Mm, mm. The misconception uh, that people have about shibari that I found is that it's dirty, that shibari is a dirty thing. And I've some someone on Facebook told me that asked me if I don't believe that I go against God by doing shibari. And I've asked him why do you think that? Because well, what I know, I respect my model, mm -hmm. everything is consensual, we are not going into anything sexual, especially if we're doing a tutorial, we're yeah. trying to keep it as professional and as, you know, technical as possible, and yeah. we go into the, into other parts that have nothing to do with, with, uh, sex, sex whatsoever. Yeah, whatsoever. even some sessions, you know, it's not about your sexual organs it's everything around them and some people may see that as seedy but i think inherently for people that do participate in it especially you know the way that we do it's not always seedy sometimes it is filth it's utter <laughs> utter filth fair enough but that's because that's been decided yeah. you know to be the case it was agreed for that yeah, yeah. It but was consensual it's and not everyone is respected. you know exclusively filthy it it can be Loving uh, and loving caring. and beautiful and... Or it can be just technical and boring. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. And it can be painful and technical for pictures. They yeah. want to show a certain way you yeah. need to be there for one second. They yeah. take the picture and come down. Because yeah. it's the impressiveness yeah. of, of that. Right? Yeah. So I think that's one of the misconceptions that I found. Uh, Definitely. I, found. I think one I, I come across a lot is that... Firstly, you need to know a lot of knots. Mm. Yes. And secondly, yeah. that it's complex. Super, super complicated. It certainly, it, looks, it certainly looks complex. Um, and in actual fact, the, how many knots do we use commonly? One and One, the variation possibly, of that. Yeah, possibly, One and the variation of that. Well, pretty much. single column and then the double column, which is the variation, yeah. which is a single column cut in two. Split, yeah. Yeah. Split in two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just really closing with the different frictions. Exactly. Um, yes, there are a few different frictions to learn. Um, but they are not set in stone. And it's just applying whatever works at yeah, the exactly. moment. Exactly. You know? um, as, long as, the, and as long as they closed the wraps and that is tight. They, they I, serve their function and you can do whatever the hell you want to do. I think the problem is that people perceive it as complex because... What a lot of teachers expect them to do is is to learn a whole bunch of steps of a tie mm. without really knowing why, why yeah. and what they're doing. Yeah. And I think the big jump is when you explain to people why they're doing this yeah. and how these just reappear time and time again. And how is once... the same knot applied time? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. The same, the, that, exactly. the goal dates, a combination of... Five single column ties. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly. So, yeah, I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions. Yeah. It's very complicated. But, yeah, I mean, if, if, if you're trying to learn, say, I don't know, three rope to katakote, 60 plus te- steps, um, that's it's really mind blowing to try and remember that. Yeah. It takes a long time to. But once you start to realise that it's actually just very few components mm-hmm. that you're using according to some very, very simple rules, um, it becomes a lot, lot more logical. And from there, you can extrapolate. You can say, well, okay, I've learned this recipe, but how about if I change that ingredient for another one that does exactly the same? Yeah. Um, and again, you can sp- once you understand the rules, you can spot where you've messed up. Yes. You go, now that looks wrong, and ah, and yes, it's because I ignored that rule, mm-hmm. and I should have gone Close. that way yeah. instead of this way. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of things like that, I think. Well, uh, what you're talking about is uh, learning something that it's step one. Tie the single column, then you go with the rope towards the right, and you wrap around twice, and you close this friction with the next friction. So you have to remember, as you said, yeah, 60 yeah. steps instead of remembering the tension is important. So I need to be careful at the tension, at the placement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The friction is to be tight, so not open, because otherwise it's it wouldn't be a friction. Purpose, it wouldn't yeah. be a friction even. You could not even call that a friction. So when you reduce all the rules to something, to just few rules, so instead of following 60 steps, you just follow three yeah, yeah. rules. Yeah. If you're dying, pay attention to the tension. The tension needs to be appropriated for the part of the body you're dying. So if you're tying an ankle, if you're tying the waist, you will leave way more space. Mm-hmm. If you're tying a gote, you know, you don't want to, it's the right tension for yeah. the gote for the arms, or you would have the right tension for the thighs, mm. which you can... So, yeah, we reduce the the way we teach, the way I think Bruce and I, and, you know, we like to teach is by reducing those rules. So you only have a few of them. You don't have to have gaps yeah. in the ropes. So as long as you know those, it will give you such a freedom yeah. to create and be creative and I think that's what a lot of people struggle that with. That was my big just, light, mo- light yeah. bulb moment yeah. after having yeah. sort of learnt a fairly wax on wax off yeah. method. In other words I tied two and three rope TKs until I could do them blindfold and mm. then some more. But the real light bulb moment was I suddenly realised actually what you're doing is you're learning the key ingredients. Yeah. Yes. You're practicing them, you're le- committing them to muscle memory. You're learning the whole, yeah. so then you can understand but what, the... Yeah, the bit that actually was the, the final piece of the jigsaw, which sadly I was never told. It's just something I figured out, that, hey, the these are ingredients, yeah. and I'm just repeating them. Yeah. Um, it, I was never aware of that, that information being transmitted to me, all the, all the tutorials I ever had. Because the secrets be... of the pro are not being shared necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, true. I mean, if, if if you just give a man a fish, you know, and never teach him uh, to fish, he'll come back for fish every day. I suppose maybe we shot ourselves a bit in the foot <laughs> by teaching people to fish. <laughs> no, I don't think we have, because, you know, the love that we have for this discipline is in the way that we want to share it with others. Yeah. You know, we don't want to keep it for us. We want people yeah. to have access to our knowledge so they can develop on top of that. Yeah. So we create, can learn from and they exactly. can their own shapes and their own sessions. Absolutely. They don't have to just follow what somebody else is doing. They exactly. can take it and do something different every single time with so it. We have a highest variation in the shibari. Yeah. And we remove those type of barriers mm. that, other than that, I don't think they should exist. But certainly after a while, you know, if you use that approach, you'll be able to look at sort of serving suggestions and, mm-hmm. and go like, I don't know how they made that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't even have to remember exactly every step. You just understand the concept and that would be yes. enough for you to be able to reproduce it safely. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. A, in a safe manner. Yeah. That's yeah. what's important. First, first thing is you look steps. at it and go, I know what's what you've the done. engineering purpose of what you've yeah. done there? Yeah. How does it achieve that, you know? Yeah. Okay, I want to suspend someone, I want to suspend them from the chest, so therefore I want two nice secure bands 
that are going to support them properly yeah. and stay in place. Yeah, exactly. And that's all you're trying to achieve with the goto, really. Yeah, exactly. Is is to that engineering function. If it does that, doesn't really matter how it does it, as long as it's aesthetically pleasing. And uh, safe. And yeah, yeah so, so, well, safe. well yeah. safe is achieving the purpose. Mm, mm. That's why you have two one upper, and that's why because we want to achieve. Yeah. Well, I think we've done it. I think that's about it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because Sophie needs to go and her phone rings in the <laughs> living room. Okay, right. So, <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Later. Uh, hope to see you again more soon. Yes. Take care.